Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever it is you're watching today. Uh, this is Sarah with Doing Daisies, and I'm getting a little sick of winter in the snow, and my mind was moving towards spring, my patio, my small garden, and I felt like doing a spring project today. So what we're going to do is decoupage a birdhouse. Um, and I am using the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, which is also safe for outdoor use. So you don't, if you have the dishwasher safe, you don't need to go out and buy the outdoor. Um, but I do suggest one of the two so they do, they do seal well. Um, so I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using some copper paint. I'm going to be using some copper foil. And of course I have two sheets of uh, just scrapbook paper that I picked up at the store. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to paint um, the areas that we want painted with the copper and let that set and dry. And I just want to give it a nice decent smooth coating and this will probably have a second coat go over it once it's dry. All right, I'm just going to continue around with all the parts that I want to appear copper and I will be back just as soon as I have these all painted and dried. Okay, here's the birdhouse and as you can see it looks a little bit messy right now. I was very liberal with the copper paint um, but that is because once we start the decoupage I don't want any of the bare wood to show if the um, paper does not quite cover the wood. So that is intentional, making it um, look a little bit messy at the beginning. All right, now um, the next step, now that the paint is dried, is to cut the paper and I'm going to cut it. I've gone ahead and measured the distance here and it's five inches all right and I have already marked on my paper where the five inch marks are just to make things go a little bit quicker and easier here okay now um, the next thing that I want to do is kind of put this up and mark on the paper where exactly um, I need to cut a hole for the perch. So I've gone ahead and marked that just by putting pressure on the paper over the perch. And I am going to go ahead and punch that. I can get to it. All right, can I get to that? So I'm going to very carefully just cut that out. There we go. Now it's not perfect, but that is okay. You can see that slides right on there. Looks pretty good. And then again, um, just I want to know right about where that circle is going to be, but we're not going to cut that out yet. The next thing we are going to do is just take our Mod Podge and we're going to start with the front and give a good liberal coat. And this again is the dishwasher safe. We need something that is waterproof. So we are using the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. You can also go by the um, outdoor formula, but I did already have this here, so I went ahead and used the dishwasher safe. All 
Right now, I'm going to take our paper. Go ahead and give that a good, that a good seal down in here. Okay, and then. Now we're going to start bending. Oops. So we need to work on getting this a little bit smoother as well. Okay. We're just going to start bending this back around. Where we have kind of mod podged in to the hole. Right. I'm be sure we get this smoothed out really well. Any places where it's bulging or looks like there's a little bit of a crease going on. You do want to be a little bit careful so you don't uh, tear the paper, but it is fairly forgiving. Right, and then we're just going to start working around and decoupaging the paper onto the birdhouse. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this first sheet and then we'll be back. Now that I have the paper decoupaged onto the birdhouse, I'm going to go over it with a couple more coats of the Mod Podge and let that dry in between each coat. And that is to make sure that we have a good seal between the paper and the elements once we put it outside because I will be using this outside. And I am going to go ahead and seal um, the exposed wood as well. All right, so I'll be back just as soon as this dries. Okay, now here's the birdhouse. I have a um, couple coats of the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge, which is also good for outdoor use. Um, so this is pretty much dry. There's still a few damp spots where it's a little bit thicker, um, but I'm going to show you now what I'm going to do with the roof. And I'm going to cover it with this um, copper foil and I'm going to kind of shape it to the way the shingles are shaped on here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a piece of paper and kind of cut it down to the shape I'm looking for. There we go. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it into the, the crevice here and I'm going to shape it. I'm going to push it, crease it in along the sides 
and push it up as well into all the steps of where the shingles are. And the reason I'm doing that is so that we can see exactly how long and what shape we want it to be. All right, and then of course it will be folded along the bottom there. Okay, so that kind of gives us the shape that we're looking for. And I already have one piece here that I've already cut and have ready to go. So what I'm going to do is actually get my cutting surface ready. Okay, and I'm going to roll this out. And I'm going to cut it to length right about here. So I'm going to take <clears throat> permanent marker and I'm just going to mark where I want that cut to be. And I'm going to need to do more than one layer, but this is where we're going to start. And then we're just going to go along and mark again using our template. Just cut right along the lines. Okay, and for this, I am using scissors with a titanium blade. They're not. They're Fiskars, but they do have the titanium blades so that they are a little bit stronger than the regular scissors. All right, then what I'm going to do is lay that up in there. And I'm just going to take an embossing tool and kind of push that up. So we can mm. kind of get this shaped. so we can get a good crease on that so it looks how we want it. All right, and once we get that shaped, I'm gonna pull that gently out of there. All right, and down here, I'm just going to cut right along here. It was just a little bit longer than 
the underside of the birdhouse. So now that we have that shape, you're going to want to do this for all six sides. And what we're going to use is E6000 to hold our copper roof into place. Okay, and I'm just going to put some all along on each level here. I want to be sure it's held good and tight. Right, and we're just going to slip that back in there again. Okay. And again, just take our tool, push everything down Oops, good and tight. And then as this dries, it will hold it permanently. All right, there you go. And that is what you want to do for all six sides. All right, so I'm going to finish this up and then we'll be back. Here is the birdhouse with the finished copper roof. I am not going to seal this in any way. I want it to naturally patina as it weathers outside. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was up here, you've probably noticed a lot of tin foil. I put that on there so as I was painting and so forth, I would not um, get paint or anything on the rope hanger. So that's what that was on there for, um, just a safety precaution. So I think this birdhouse turned out just adorably, and I can't wait for spring so I can get this hung in off of my patio on a large bush that we have. It's, I think it's gonna look just great. And we'll see you soon with another craft. Bye-bye.